And I feel what you feel. And I go under the spirit if they you know what you're going through. And when the enemy can separate you and think it's you and you go make your own decision, I was dealing with something again, I'm just trying to get up. I was dealing with this, and I ain't gonna be long. I ain't gonna be too much long. I'm really great from you. I was dealing with something this morning. I was dealing with I was talking about, I was really meditating on God, and I started meditating about a sister. And this sister, this sister is, is trying hard to do the right thing. But she, she's pushed to do the wrong thing. And she dealt with some things that, that, that's very serious things, but because of what done happened in her life, she battling and want to do what's right, but the pressure of doing not right because she's not getting what she needs to get, not to do, press toward the wrong way. Because what she needs from the individual, they're not giving it to her what she needs, and she's still feeling that hurt and that bitterness. So she's trying to go the other way, the route, to get that peace. And I'm letting it be, Lord, why in the world you got me saying, I ain't got to have that food. <laughs> but he said, because y'all connected. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yes, it's a struggle for her to do the right thing. Because when, like, when a man don't respond right to after he's wrong, it looks better to do what's wrong than to do what's right. You know what I'm telling you? Isn't that real? And even though you don't heard from God, this is the thing. When you don't heard from God in everything, reality is reality. Do y'all hear me? And when you're dealing with reality and spirituality, and even though God spoke, it's still harder to do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Because you're living in reality. This is something you got to face every day. The prophet ain't there with you every day. The, the mother ain't there with you every day. The, the preacher ain't there with you every day. You're facing this really, literally by yourself. Oh, y'all out. Y'all been in the wrong house? Amen. If I'm in the wrong house, ain't nobody here like that, is it? Don't say that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody by saying something is not doing you no good. It's time for you to get results. Yes. Say results. results. Seek it for yourself. Get to know God for yourself. Ain't God good? Amen. Mark 10 27. What does it say? And Jesus looking upon them said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. Say, look at that, y'all. Say, say, I mean, uh, with God, is, with man it's impossible. Say, it's impossible. I need you to start looking for the thing that's, that's impossible for man, but God can do it. You got to start 
start thinking with the possibility that God can do. You got to start with man, it's impossible. But you're not serving no man. You're serving a God that got all the power in his hand. And you got to begin to think with the possibility that nothing is impossible for God to do. Stop thinking that what, no matter what it is, no matter what you're dealing with, ain't nothing impossible. Get that out your mind that it's impossible. It's possible. It's possible. Say it's possible. It's possible. This can't happen in my life. Say it. This can happen in my life. It's possible. Stop thinking that it's too hard. Stop thinking you can't have it. It's possible. With God, it's possible. You serving that God that all things are possible. He can do it all. He can turn it around. He can work it out. He can redeem the time. He can fix it. He's an awesome God. He's a mighty God. He can make the quicker road straight. He got all power. It's God. It's possible. You got to stop letting that limitation be on your mind. You trying to talk to people and say, but they know but God. God ain't gonna do it. And you gotta think that. It's possible. I could change it. No, God can do it. Look at that shit, God can do it. God can do it right now. God can turn it around right now. You gotta start thinking like God. You gotta start thinking like God. You gotta start thinking like God. You gotta start thinking like God is like possible. God can do it all. God can turn it around. God can work it out. God can change their mind. God can change their body. God can change everything. God can change me. God can take me from down being down low to bring me up high. God can make me rich. God can make me whatever he needs. God can do it. And why? Because your praise and your worship and how you live is determined how you think. And if you think it's impossible and it's hard, you can't have it. You got to eliminate that. God can give you your own business in his conversion in two days. Hallelujah. And the reason you get disappointed and upset because you're not thinking it's possible. Hallelujah. What if this don't happen? What if this? You don't see that no way in him. What if this? Devil got you right there. What if I turn? Yeah. God for all your steps. And if anything wrong, he's gonna fix it. He's gonna turn it around. Don't you even think like that. If anything ain't right, God will make it right. God will it. stop thinking that it, it, it ain't work. What if this it, it ain't gonna happen? God will fix it. God will work it out just for you. God will turn it around just for you. You got the faith positive to stop thinking all this stuff. It's the way it did. What's up wrong? You're always wrong with your wrong self. God don't want to right. God don't want to make it right. You're wrong. God make it right. You got to stop thinking right. I don't know what this Devil got you. But I don't know what if I that devil got you. What if I fall? Fall! So what? Get back up! Oh, yes, Get back up! Yes. God doing it! Yes. God doing it! Yes. God doing it! Yes. So what? God doing it! Yes. Stop! He's working the impossible in your life and you won't let him do it. You don't supposed to have what he's going to give you. You don't supposed to follow the people, man, concern. You don't supposed to be going where you're going. You don't supposed to be getting in place where you're supposed to get. You don't supposed to be having none of this stuff. You, God doing it. And you in the way because you ain't thinking like God. You allow the limitation of your mind, the blocks in your mind, to make you struggle through something when you ought to walk through it in faith and praise and worship God. That's why folks can't praise the worship because they got doubts. 
Because they ain't got to know the God of the impossible. And when you start thinking possible, see, I've been, I've been God to do it, man. Somebody said, you're going to get some get. I can get whatever God has to give. I'm going to give me up whatever. He says, I want. I can have whatever I want. I can have whatever I want. I have a new house, new car, new boat, new everything if I want. I believe the impossible. Ain't no limitation of what I can have. Ain't no limitation of where I can go. Because I believe the impossible. And until you start believing the possible, say something that's possible. Ain't nothing in your life that ain't impossible. God can do whatever you need him to do, but you just got to get in that realm of the impossible and know that walking the impossible and think like God. I heard my other two more. See, this is what you got to say. When Jesus was on the earth, I heard, I heard somebody tell me the reason I answered because I really, really didn't want to answer. I, 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 it takes me to answer, but I didn't answer. I couldn't answer now because God was ministering to me about the other day. If you understood that, I didn't mean that. But, the reason why. Jesus cursed the tree. The tree wasn't in season. But in the garden there was no season. In the beginning there was no seasons. It was fruit all through the year. There was no limitation. When Jesus came on the scene, he thought whatever he had, he'd get it. And if he don't get it, he cursed it. Because of the earth and not of God. It wasn't it, it was supposed to be doing that. It. It's supposed to give him what he asked. See, so you must not have to get what I asked. I'm supposed 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 to get what I asked. When I ask something, when I ask something, no matter what season it is, no matter what, when I ask Jesus, with the impossible, with God, all things are possible. I can get it all through the season. I can get it any time. Begin to speak those things and begin to bring them in the past. 
Forget those things that are behind you. Press forward, man. Give it God praise and give it glory. The best is yet to come. But until you can get the mind that that and that over it, because God said it. Say God said it. Because God said it, that sells it. Stop including you and including stuff. God said it, that sells it. He don't need your permission. He needs your agreement. Put that in when you was in your mother's womb. God put that in you before you was even 
in your mother's womb. Amen. And you speak and stuff and you trying to do it yourself because you trying to qualify yourself when you already qualified through Jesus Christ. And he's doing it, going to do it through you. ain't going to direct you and give everything you need to do it, but you want to get in the way. You try to make what? Sense of it. Well, what if I do this? Let me start saving it. Let me cash in my 401k. I ain't cashing in nothing. And God do it. He said he was going to do it. Let me use his 401k. <laughs> he is bigger than mine. Say hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> and instead of you trying to get stuff and try to offer it. Man, I'm like, God, you live. He got a big 401k. Y'all know that? Amen. He can't hear the oh. You got to thank God. Think like God. And you got to stop that limiting of God because the way you think. And you look at a thing naturally and trying to be spiritual. God is ordering your steps. God is a good. When are you going to relinquish the net and let God take over? We ain't going to just say, Shh, you got it, God. And everything you begin to praise God and worship God. Because you because you trust in God. And that God working out. When you go relax in there. But I mean when you let go and let God. And let God order steps up, come on, say, God, go. Opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know if I I don't know if I qualify. I don't qualify, but I'm gonna put it in. They're gonna make me qualify. Hallelujah. Because God. Put it on me to do. Yeah. I'm telling you, you got to stop living God and think impossible things are going to happen in your life and they happen in your life, but you got to let them happen. Stop looking at things naturally and think you're spiritual. I ain't got no money. See, who told you need money? Amen. How you know God won't give you favor? Amen. I know God won't open it up for you, but you don't put your mouth on it and now you look down, you get cursed it. Because you ain't speaking what God said. So you don't understand that when God speaks of it, you speak against it, you just cursed it. Y'all didn't hear that, did you? God said one thing, you said something, you just cursed it. God was blessing you. You spoke against what God said, and now you cursed it. You wonder why things ain't working out for you, because God said one thing, you said something, that's now it's cursed. He said, I said for you, blessed in the curse. He spoke, you speak of the blessing. What you spoke was a curse. Because it was opposite of what God said. I don't know why this keeps happening. You keep speaking curse in your life. It's going against what God said. He said, You blessed in Holly Fever, going to point, called by God. You got more than enough. You right here talking about, I ain't got enough. I'm sick. You just never sick. In the head. But anyway. Because you're not speaking what God said. And God began to manifest what he said, but you keep cursing yourself. I'm blessed. I got more than enough. Like, Yo, you got to know I speak that because that's what God said. So I'm blessed in that area because God said it and I'm blessed. And God good because I'm agreeing with who God. Y'all with me? You got to start agreeing with God because you in the house of God and disagree with God. How you doing today? I'm doing all right. I ain't seen all right in the world. Well, I'm looking for all right. You see it? You got to speak what God say. How you think going to turn around if you don't speak what God say? How, how impossible going to happen if you don't speak what God say? And that's why you don't come up with this thing. I'm going to get out of here. I just heard it. <laughs> so I'm just hit me. Just like, we got to go. We got to go. Go where? He ain't told me that. You got to begin to agree with God. You want God to bless you, and your prayers not even agree with God.
because you're not thinking, if you ain't thinking it possible. I could go down a road where they told me not to go. And I went down that road because God, because God laid me down that road and it worked out for me. Because I relied on God and not on myself. God will make the impossible possible yes. if you believe in God. Amen. Thank you. And I'm going to tell you this is what you say all the time. I'm going to say it is no mistakes in God. Amen. It's mistakes in you. Amen. When you believe it's a mistake, it's a mistake. Amen. When it's not orchestrated by God, it's a mistake. Amen. I picked the wrong road today. Yeah, you got the one with the stickers on it, folks, the stuff. Ain't God good. Because you picked the wrong one. How do you know it's the wrong one? All of them got stickers on it. And all of them red. These colors are red. How you got the wrong one? Because you think you got the wrong one. Yeah. Then it stuck you about four times. Because <laughs> the way you look at it. You got to begin to agree with it. I'm going to say this today, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to let you go. Because I'm going to let you go. I ain't finished my stretch. Did I finish the strip, sister? Think I need to finish it? You think they're going to put up with it? I don't care if they do or not. But we got to finish it. Listen up. You got to start agreeing with God. You, you, need, it, you need the impossible. I'm going to need normal. I'm going to need normal. If you need normal, raise your hand. You too late for normal. <laughs> you done messed up too much for normal. You should have been a game before normal a long time ago. A job and a cop. You too old for that stuff. To accomplish those goals, if God don't move, you have passed the age limit. To be debt free when you just get in debt. And you're 90 years, I mean, you're 40 years old. Debt free is out of the question for you. You're 40. You're going to buy a house with a 30 year mortgage. You're going to get a brand new car to show off to everybody. You're going to get name brand sneakers and clothes to show off to everybody. You're in debt. It's going to take God to bring you out of debt that you're able to enjoy life. Let me just look at that now. You think the impossible to happen? You all know what that's why you got to begin to thank God. You got to thank God. You got to thank like God. You got to think, pay it off 15 years, pay it off for three years. Get a car, pay it off. A big cash for it. In my name of Jesus. Cash for it. In my name of Jesus. Cash for it. In my name of Jesus. Brand spanking new. 2029. That's about what you're going to get it. But anyway. <laughs> Problem is with saying they don't stop thinking like God. They think like the world. You got to think like God to get this to And you got to stay away from people that don't think like God. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? If they don't think like God, you still have a conversation where we have because we don't get along with each other. Because I'm thinking like God. Well, I'm thinking, how you going to do that? What you going to do about it? How you going to do it? Talk to them. You know, God bless me, God move my life. How you gonna say that when that big one not in your head? God will heal my leg. How you gonna talk God will heal leg? Look at it. See, you don't understand. I'm speaking something you don't understand. I'm looking for the impossible to occur in my life, and you speaking stuff and you ain't understand. And a lot of times you be around them type of people that make you harder for you to. Because you speak and stuff, and you, you, you speak out the Bible, you stop speaking because what they say. Some of y'all would have been out of debt already if you would have kept speaking. Some of y'all would have been good to go if you would have kept speaking. Some of you would have had more if you kept speaking, but you got around people that were unequally yoked, and they start speaking something else. You start agreeing with them. Now you ain't got it. You was on the right track, but you got on the wrong track because you start listening to them. They start pressuring you. Y'all not? Y'all with me? Put your hand together, give God some praise. I ain't need no more, y'all. Y'all don't need to come out y'all don't need. Y'all ain't got enough out here today. Holy Lord, bless you right now. Ain't God good?
Y'all getting an opportunity to tonight. Y'all got to stop. Make sense out of your life. If you don't get nothing else out of this, make sense out of your life. Make sense out of your walk with God. Because you ain't making it, ain't making no sense. That's a tough thing to say. But it's true. You say about all this God you know, and how you got all this power, and doing all this, and your life right in the mango seed. That ain't making no sense. Can I? Y'all hear? And I just drew. Now y'all know what it is. It's the truth. Read your word. If you're going to suffer all the way through this life, man, I hope we have you a big mansion and three cars up there. But he said, well, bless you. On this earth. Did he say that? Yes. I'm going to bless you on this earth. So stop waiting till you get to heaven. If you go to heaven. That you will be blessed. Because I don't think you're going to this earth. I'm just being honest with you. Because if you live in hell now here, I think you belong here. But anyway. That must be your buddy. You got to live some heaven on earth. Amen. You got to enjoy God here on earth. Amen. You got to have some power to overcome the adversary on earth. Amen. You got to have some power to resist the Abba Shitab Hassan. Oh, glory to God. You got to have some power to resist the devil and all these temptations on earth. Amen. How you think you gonna wake up? You done die and you sleep. And we come, Jesus come back, and you wake up, everybody wake up, you still sitting there. Tell me, I ain't got no power. Because you ain't got no Holy Ghost. They overcome. Say overcome. overcome. You know what overcome is? That means they overcome everything they face. Amen. You're a victim. A believer is an overcomer. Amen. God and be, be you don't have to overcome some things you're giving it to. Make sense of them. I'm just making sense out the word. Amen. Look at the way it, 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 over there. You say make no sense of it. Just ready to say in the name of Jesus. You make sense, you gotta make sense of it. Make some spiritual sense of it. That's why I say believe in the possible. Believe in the possible. With God is possible. With God is possible. You gotta think like God. Think like God. Because if you don't think like God, you will think like man. It's going to be impossible for you to come out your situation. It's going to be impossible for you to do this thing because that's the way you think. You think like God, you'll be out in two days. Think like God, you begin to move. Have the power to do it. Have the strength to do it. But if you think like man, no, I can't do it, man. Because you Think like God, I'm done. I'm through. What do you mean? I'm done. God's going to move my life. God got me. God's going to do some things. And, and, and I ain't going to be in the way where God won't bless me. I ain't going to be heading my blessing, messing around and screwing up. I'm going to move on God. Why? Because I'm thinking like God. Think like man, it's impossible. And y'all, some of y'all Christians tell me, I understand. I know why you, I don't understand nothing. Y'all with me? I don't understand. Some of y'all saints been saying what I'm saying. I don't understand. I don't understand nothing, brother. Because I'm thinking like God. And God can fix that for you. God can turn that thing right for you. Amen. Now if I think like, man, I'm going to be yeah, man, I know what you mean, man. It's kind of rough, man. You better get those people out of your life that understand <coughs> the impossible in your life. Because you need somebody to believe like to think like God. Because they ain't thinking like God, you're going to be in your mess longer than what you're in. Because you ain't thinking like God. And you make it hard on yourself because of the way you think. Y'all with me?
The way you think it's hard. Oh, they don't never do right. They don't never get it right. Well, you think I'm like man, but I'm looking for God to change this. I'm looking for God to move in this thing here. God gonna bless through this here. The devil is like it. God ain't bringing this far and connect me to nobody that ain't gonna get it right. You gonna get it right, or you gonna get it done. You gonna get it right, or you gonna get it out. You gonna why? Because you couldn't. That's real stuff. Y'all got it. Make some sense out of it. I'm just telling you, make some sense out of it. Stop living a life you ain't making no sense. You saying all this stuff, but your life is totally different. It ain't make no sense. God said he shined a light. He didn't say he shined darkness. You're going to be making sense out of this thing. All this Jesus died, resurrection, power, Lord. You're supposed to be making the world see God through you. To make sense out of this. Why did he die? You're supposed to be letting us see make sense out of this. That's your job. That's your job. To make sense out of Jesus' death and his resurrection. That you may know him in the power of his death and resurrection. Through me, you're going to know him through the death and his resurrection. Through you. But if you ain't made no sense out of death and resurrection, to some folks, his death was in vain. Because it ain't making no sense. Why would he die for a folk that have no power? That have no strength? And it's rich. Put your hand together and give God some praise. And we can come to the best part of the service. Where yeah, everybody can participate. Y'all with me? Make some sense out of it. You walk up in the morning, you praising God. Make some sense out of it, man. Why you do this? Why you go to church? Why you go to church like you go to church? Because it ain't no sense. You gotta make sense out of it. It's got power in it, but it ain't gonna have no power until you make sense of it. The thing that causes to me the Catholic Church is one of the most have the most historic stuff about the church. The only thing is that the things that they do that just ain't making no sense to the way they do things. But they got the best history it's just about it, with everything. You know what I'm saying? They got, more, they got bones and stuff. <laughs> they got graves with disciples of under this sanctuary. It don't make no sense of stuff that they do. And don't have no power. Command you and bump you around, but they ain't got no power. Got no examples of what they said is true. You got to have some examples of what you're saying is true. And it ain't for nobody but for you. Because you got to make sense out of your own life. Sister, you going through all this and you better make sense out of it. Because you're going to have a lot of regrets if you're going to make sense out of it. Amen. Brother, you don't make no sense out of this. When you keep old, get aged, and then you're going to be a very upset and depressed person. Because you ain't making no sense out of this. Why did you go through all that and do all that? And this is where you end up. It's best to start the day to make sense out of your life. Because if you don't start making sense out of it, you're going to end up in a bad place. Know why you do what you do. And if you need to do something else to make sense of it, do it. Y'all are now? Yes. Because I don't see how you have two boobs and a boob and broke. If I had two boobs, I had plenty of money. Because you'd be having food stamps. <laughs> Make sense of your life. Know why you do what you do. Make sense of it.
Because if it ain't, it's all vanity. If it don't make no sense. It's all for nothing. It's all for nothing. If you don't make sense. And all you're going to get out of it is hurt and pain and regret. Because it ain't making no sense. That's why people are hating on the church. They will not go to church. They will not be in the church because they believe something and they doing something and they didn't get nothing because they didn't do it properly and they make no sense of it and they ain't get nothing and their life is messed up and they just hate the church. Because they were jumping up and down like everybody else speaking in tongues but they didn't know why and didn't know what before. And now they said, man, I already know that's fake stuff. That pastor right fake, man. <laughs> Get right on, brother. <coughs> but I understand. Why? Because they did all that and some more. They didn't make no sense of it. And then when they got through, they ended up with nothing. Because they didn't learn about the power of the anointing and worship and praising and glorifying God and allowing God to show up in their lives. They just got religion. And some people don't want it. Just religion. They want some, some action. Some of them go to witchcraft. Some of them go to courts. Well, they go to courts for power. Results. Root lady. Results. Get that man. Put some roots on him. Hang him up. Get him on in there. Went to church, couldn't get there. Went to the root lady, got me two or three of them. It's comical, but it's girl, you want to get it right, go to the roof there. He'd be right there. He'd be cooking, cooking dinner, eating and running your bath water. Them roots be wrapped around like that. <laughs> You've been praying for it for three, four years. Ain't nothing happening. <laughs> Go to Root Man, get some toilet water, and let him to drink it. He good to go. <laughs> Think about it. You got people in the church going to Root people. I'm trying to let y'all get, but y'all gonna face the truth. They talking about they read scripture. <laughs> Why? Because the ones that going to church ain't making no sense. They doing all this and getting no results. And don't know why they do what they do. But I'm here to get you right. I know you don't like me. But I like you. Because I'm going to go home and sleep like a baby. You fool. And go to sleep. Here. But I tell him. I said, hold on what I'm told. He said, you sure did. Get you some meat. Because somebody going to get it. The number one get it. And don't get offended by it. That's why I'm like, people, when God brings some truth out, they get offended. The reason why they get offended because they don't want to forget the truth. They can't take instruction of correction. And a person that can't get correction can't grow. Because they think they got it, but they like, don't show nothing. Amen. Show me your proof. Show me your proof. Yes. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Call me to oh. your old house and show me your proof. Holy God. Bring me to your house. Take me out of here. <laughs> show me something. Show me your proof. Lay hands on me, knock me out. He ain't got to even knock me out. Just let me feel it. Got a little something. It burned a little bit. Because that's where you at. They 
things. And without that, it ain't making no sense. Amen. That's why your husband and people in your life say, why are you going to church? And tell you, what you going to church for? Getting top of the That's a lie, but anyway. Because <laughs> it ain't making no sense to them. Because you go home and go to church and come home the same way. Well, we tell you today, tomorrow, the next time we have a great time. Y'all know what? I'm looking for lay hands, all that stuff. Y'all ain't doing this weekend. I heard you. I see this person. They ain't doing this week. Come on, they do it. Someone tried to do it, but they ain't stick with it. So I gave y'all a break this week. Maybe we'll go back next week. Y'all know what we said we're going to do this week. Didn't we? Some of y'all know y'all did it. I did it. Well, but I missed two days that. I know you did. <laughs> but we're going to come back. We're going to let the power go. Move. What I've just said, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What I just said, what I just mentioned to you, come back next week, and the power of God is going to move with him mind the bad witness to what I said.